Hey Pisces, welcome back to my channel. If you are returning, if you're new here, welcome. Make sure you subscribe if you resonate with me. This is gonna be good for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus placements. Or if you are dealing with a Pisces, these messages may resonate with you as well. Uh, energies can be interchangeable. Also, not every message may be for you, so just take what resonates, leave what does not. We're gonna be connecting with you and the person you are dealing with, the person on your mind, person coming towards you this week, 428, 22, 255, 22. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Raising, Venus. What do we need to know for Pisces? Pisces, Sun, Moon, Raising, Venus, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Raising, Venus, Pisces, what have we got, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Raising, Venus, all right, let's take a look, past, present, future energy for my Pisces, all right, bottom of the deck, you have unspoken love. So you're dealing with someone you're, or you're connecting with someone where you you or them, take this how it resonates, someone here is not professing their love, okay? They are not speaking on their feelings because they're scared of rejection, okay? Let's take a look. Past, present, future energy, all right? So some of you are dealing with a situation where it's like an open relationship, all right? You're not really this person isn't offering you a commitment, okay? It's like, there's an energy here of the person you're connecting with maybe in, like in a very dominant energy. You could be connecting with an Aries. You may be deciding like whether or not this is someone that you want to invest your time in or you guys may be doing a lot of reflecting and what it is that you're wanting out of a relationship, okay? What does that look like? I feel like in your recent past, you had this very magical connection, could be with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, but you had this very like special, magical connection with someone, all right? It was exciting, you guys had a lot of adventures. You thought that this person was gonna be your happily ever after, all right? You thought that this person was going to be like a fairy tale, okay? You saw your this person as being like the end all be all. But in your current energy, it's like you're doing some reevaluating, all right? You're thinking like, is this something that I really want? Or is this person even someone that I really want to be with long term, okay? Do they really have all the qualities that I want in, in a relationship, in a commitment? And then you have the two of cups. So there is a deep connection that you have with this person. You guys may be contemplating moving away from them or moving away from the drama that comes with this connection. I do feel like you guys are in like some sort of manifestation mode where you're trying to manifest something, someone, a relationship, a commitment. All right, let's take a look. Pisces, past energy for Pisces. Wow, okay, so you could be connecting with a Leo for some of you, you don't have to be. There is a painful ending here in this situation and this connection, all right? There is a lot of love here this person did make you happy, but I feel like there was some sort of betrayal or painful ending here in the situation. Ten of Swords. Okay. You, I feel like you guys were waiting for this person. You guys were waiting for something from this person. Someone here may have had options. Seven of Cups. And definitely there is an energy here of someone really holding back. Four of Pentacles. Someone's very guarded. Someone's very protective of their energy. Really guarding their heart. Okay. In your recent past. You were waiting for this happily ever after that you saw with this person. Okay, let's take a look and see what else. Yeah, but with this Ten of Swords, it's like whoever this is, some of you may even have been going through a divorce or some sort of separation, legal issue with this person, and it's like you feel you felt betrayed by them in some type of way. And this is very painful. This is someone you were dealing with for quite a while. All right, current energy for Pisces, Knight of Wands. So there's an in and out energy, hot and cold energy surrounding the situation. Okay, this person may have resurfaced, Knight of Wands. This is a very like passionate connection, but it's not something that's like, it, it brings in like no stability. Okay, there's a lot of attraction. It's very fiery. You have two knights here. Someone could be offering something here or pursuing 
the connection in the recent energy or in your current energy here. And there's contem contemplating going on, whether or not you want to invest, whether or not this is something that you even are open to at this point. It's like you had this image of someone is what I'm getting. Like you had this idea of someone and at this point, like in your past, and at this point, it's like maybe this person isn't who I thought they were is what I'm getting here. Yeah, this person broke your heart, okay? There's a lot of pain that comes with the situation. What's the current energy, please, for my Pisces? Could be connecting with a Sagittarius. Here's that earth energy again. The sun and temperance. So it's like something could have been exposed here. Yeah, about this person is what I'm getting. Something could have been brought to surface here, brought to light, all right? You receive some sort of like download or clarity surrounding this person. It's like you're not who I thought you were, okay? Uh, there is an energy here of healing, needing to heal from this trying to heal from this. I feel like you've been very patient with this person. Queen of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries, energy. Hmm. There is definitely a strong attraction here between you and this individual, and I do feel like it's very challenging. I'm hearing it's complicated. So this connection is very complicated. You have really strong Leo energy here, Pisces. What's in the immediate future? Eight of Cups. Wow. So you guys may be in a space in your immediate future of walking away from this relationship. It's like because it's not stable, because it does feel one-sided, because it's like maybe you don't trust this person. So there's an energy here of walking away from this. Maybe this isn't my happily ever after, right? Following your intuition and doing that. Some of you, this is a soulmate connection or you feel like this is some sort of like soul tie connection, past life relationship. Right? Intuitively, you feel this strong pull towards this person. Yeah, Nine of Swords. There's a lot of stress, anxiety, fears surrounding going towards something completely new. Could be an Aries involved as well, or you could have that in your chart. But there, there's a lot of fear surrounding stepping into the unknown. You guys, there's an energy here of fearing rejection or fearing like being left out in the cold, feeling like shut out. And yeah, like fear surrounding that. Okay, let's see what else we got for Pisces. What do we got for Pisces this week? But yeah, I'm getting like you you lost faith or you lost trust in this person that you're connecting with. I can't give you what you want right now. Love yourself first. Yeah, it's like they were unwilling or unable to give you what you wanted. I'm going to find I'm going to find out what you've been hiding from me. I need to know before I completely trust this connection. Yeah, I feel like you guys intuitively feel like this person's not being honest with you. I'm going to risk it all for you. I think you're worth the risk. Wanting to take that leap of faith, wanting to step into this, wanting to take a, a risk on this, but there's fear surrounding it because I feel like your intuition is telling you something. It's best I maintain a distance between you and I. I'll continue to watch you from a distance. So this person's watching you from a distance or vice versa. It's been difficult seeing a future together. I'm sorry, I have to walk away. That's the energy that I'm feeling. I feel like this is you, but swap the roles if you need to. Someone here is like, I don't know if this, you know, at one time, it's so interesting because it feels like at one time you thought this was your happily ever after. And over the course of time, it's like, maybe I was wrong. And your intuition is poking at you, trying to tell you something. And um, I feel like because of that, you have a lot of fears in moving forward with this person. What else can you tell me for Pisces this week, please? What can you tell me for my Pisces? Yeah, look at that. Enough is enough. Some of you are like, enough is enough. I'm walking away. I'm tired of getting mixed signals from you. I'm tired of the confusion. Yeah, this person really tries to be in control. That's that dominant energy that I was feeling. Um, they really try to control their emotions. They try to control the situation, okay? There is an energy here of being really angry about how this turned out. You guys may be very angry at the person you're connecting with because of the way that it turned out. You may type, type up messages to send the, to this person in regards to that anger or how you're feeling. Um, it's like I want to, you're wanting to express all of your emotions and your feelings, but you hold back is what I'm getting with that. What is your advice here? 
some of you could be connecting with a Libra. Balance, spirituality, and practicality. Full moon in Pisces. So that's your energy. So you guys may, I mean, in your advice, like, and you had temperance wanting to come out too. Yeah, look at this. It's time to release negativity. Full moon in Scorpio. You could be connecting with a Scorpio. But with all this full moon energy, it's like, what do we do on full moons? We release. Okay, so... And releasing negativity, you guys are coming to a space where it's like, okay, enough is enough. I've been through way too much in this situation. I'm deciding to move forward. And that's in your advice. So if you're contemplating and you needed a sign, this is your message from spirit saying, yeah, it's time for you to release anything that's negative, anything that's no longer serving you. All right, let's see. What is your advice? Pisces, what is your advice? Three of Cups, the Hermit, Five of Wands. Yeah, withdrawing from conflict. I feel like some of you haven't really been in a space of being able to get out and enjoy yourself. Maybe being single, you could be connected with a Virgo. Uh, but you guys, in your advice is to disconnect from the drama. Five of Wands, the Hermit. Disconnect, go within. Have a good time. Lean into friends and family for support. I'm hearing like live a little, all right? And releasing people, places, and situations that are no longer serving you is what I'm getting here. Okay? So, that is what I have for you, Pisces. I hope this was helpful. I hope this brought you clarity to your situation this week. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. Leave me a comment. Let me know. And I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.